Hello everyone, Amanda here from scrimpinmommy.co.uk and today I'm going to show you how we can make two little um, bags from one sheet of 12 by 12. It's using similar measurements I've used on another project but it's just an, another way of um, doing it and I used similar um, measurements when I made my pretty chocolate box the other day. So we're cutting this to 11 and 3 quarters um, 11 and 3 quarters on, well it's a 12 by 12 sheet so it doesn't really matter which side you do it on just decide which way around you want your paper and then we're going to trim it to 6 ok so we've got two pieces I'm just going to make sure that this one is actually 6 because sometimes it can be a little tad off um, give that a trim ok Get rid of that, okay. And then what we want to do is we want to start and score. So on the short side here, we want to score, I want that to be the flap. So I'm turning it that way because I want this to be the bottom and that to be the top. And we are scoring at one and a quarter and five and a half. So one and a quarter, just lining it up, and five and a half. Make sure it's lined up. Okay. Score it kind of gently because we're just using DSP here and not cardstock. And then on the long side, we're scoring at one and a quarter five and a quarter. Six and a half and ten and a half and ten and a half. So that's the first one. So I'm going to do that again. So we're scoring on the short side at one and a quarter. Because I'm doing two, so I'm going to make them both for you. One and a quarter and five and a half. Turn it on the long side, score at one and a quarter, five and a quarter, six and a half, and ten and a half. I'll leave the, all the measurements over on my blog at scrimpymummy.co.uk. Alright, so there's our two pieces. And put the trimmer away, get my bone folder and my snail and we're going to fold and burnish all of those score lines okay and then you'll have a small score line at the top and a larger one at the bottom the smaller score line there wants to be folded over and you want to glue it down because that is just a little bit of reinforcement at the top of the bag. Fold it over, okay, right, and then we're going to do some, some cutting. So we're cutting up all of the um, scar lines from the bottom to the first big scar line there. These are going to create flaps to create a square bottom bag. The light here is garbage. It's absolutely rubbish weather today. I like sunshine. I miss it when it's when it's dismal. I don't like it. I've taken my pooches out this morning and they're absolutely filthy. I'm gonna have to bath them. <laughs> so what you can do now is this will fold over, okay? And it will make the bag but what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to make some little handles so you've got your two longer sections then you've got your dividing section I'm just going to very gently line those two longer sections up like that I'm not creasing it fully I'm, I'm just kind of just lining them up and this is the top and these are where I've cut the flaps at the bottom and I'm going in with the classic label punch and I'm going to make some 
little handles. Okay, so get it all lined up. Hold my paper there, put my punch in, and just eyeballing it really. Um, sort of there, I think. Will do. There we go. I've got my little my little handles. Right, so now I can attach that. Um, I don't want the don't want to tape up the flats. I'm going to use snail for quickness. I would suggest you use something a little bit stronger, but I'm putting quite light treats in here. And then that will really easily fold over like so and it will fold flat. Okay, and then all you have to do is tuck your flaps in and you want adhesive just on the one flap. So if I fold all that flat, I can just put adhesive on just one of the larger flaps on the inside. Pop it up, tuck the small flaps in, the first large flap, and then fold that over. And you've got yourself a little square bottomed bag. There we go. Okay, so that's one. So let's do the other and then we will decorate them beautifully. So fold and burnish. Super easy. As you can see, you get two of these from a sheet of 12 by 12. So if you've got DSP left over or you've got piles in your, uh, what I lovingly call my hard vault. You know, this is a good way to use it up. These You could make these and fold them flat and, um, you know, leave them folded flat and send them in a swap for somebody um, to then construct and use in their swaps. We're going to have it open like that, but you can just squeeze the top in like so um, and have it like so. Okay, and then you've got that kind of shape. In, in fact, we'll have that one like that. And um, we'll have that one like that. So what I've done with this one is I've just squeezed the top and that gives us this nice shape round the side and you can attach it with a little paper clip or um, a staple. I'll staple mine, it'll be easier. You can just add a staple. Like that. There we go. Okay. So that's one way of doing it. Just remember to put your treats in first. I should have put my sweets in. I've forgotten, but never mind. There's one little bag. Right, so let's do finish this one. Make sure I'm still in shot. I'm just going to zoom out ever so slightly. Lucky for me, my desk is nice and tidy. My my crafty craft room stroke office, because it doubles up as both, is nice and tidy. It is a small room. Somebody did mention on one of my videos the other day that I looked like when I did a live I looked like um, Alice in Wonderland in a very small small room it is a small room but you know it's enough you don't need a huge space to craft in um, for a very long time I crafted on our kitchen table um, I had to wait for older children to um, go to university and leave home to get a, my own to have my own room so there you go, uh, it's a perk of your children going up and uh, fleeing the nest. Right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do the same and I'm just going to fold it over and see where those score lines meet and then just gently push there so it's square and then go in with my classic label punch and I can use the lines on the DSP to help me get it kind of straight. But if it's not perfect, it doesn't matter. It's just a little bag for some cute, sweet treats. Okay, so again, we can fold over that smaller section and add tape um, to the score line, not below. And fold that over. Line it up. I will take time to line it up. I won't rush it. Line it up, and there you go. That's how it would fold flat. So if you do crafty swaps, I've got a swap group on Facebook, and we do crafty swaps. You could make some of these, and you could decorate the front, and you could send them folded flat, and then the recipient at the other end just has to pop them up, and um, you know, idea the bottom. Super simple. What a great! I think that's a lovely idea, actually. So I'm just going to attach this bottom flap here. And this is the uh, D 
DSP with the sweets, whose name I have absolutely is completely gone out of my mind. Um, but it's beautiful DSP because it's nice and bright and colourful and cheerful. It's just awesome. Um, so let's fold that over like that. And we've got our little another little square bottom bag. And what I'm going to do is I've got some sweets here. And I did bring a cello bag over. Okay. And what you can do is... I've only got this ribbon <laughs> on my table, forgotten to bring any other ribbons. So we're using this ribbon. It needs using up, why not? Um, so I'm going to, so this is my little cello bag. It's a little bit on the large side, but I'll make it work. So I put some little sweets in there, some little sweet treats in. Uh, we'll just have two for now. have two in there just as an example to show you I'll just tuck it over and grab my sellotape that is the added beauty of having a, a small craft room I can whiz myself around on my chair and reach the things that I've forgotten uh, or that I didn't realize that I needed because sometimes when you're crafting you know you don't realize everything you're going to need so I'm going to cut the top of that off using some well, these are pinking shears for, for fabric crafting, really. I shouldn't really be cutting uh, plastic with them, but her ho And then <laughs> I'll just cut some ribbon and tie it around. So if you do craft bears as well, these would be awesome. We've got teacher, we're, we're going to be coming up to, um, you know, we've got the spring half term, teacher appreciation gifts. My little girl likes giving little gifts to her friends. She'll often come in here and pinch things that I've made or say, Mum, will you, can you make me something really quick? And this is a great idea um, for something really quick and simple. I'd rather have a brightly coloured ribbon, um, but I don't actually have any. <laughs> I'm running my stocks down um, so that I can get some lovely new stuff when the new catalogue goes live. I've only got so much room in my craft room, so at certain times of year, um, you know, I have to just be a bit more mindful of purchases, so we can put that in there like so. But I'm gonna decorate both of these. So we've got two different bags, two different styles, same measurements, same paper, both look awesome. I'm gonna decorate them. And I'm gonna use the daisy punch. So I've got some Melon Mambo, which is the same colour as in the, the cardstock. And I've got some DSP, not cardstock. And I've got some Coastal Cabana. Okay. So I'm going to stamp in the same colours. So we'll start with Coastal Cabana. which way around I should be stamping that but never mind I'll, I'll figure out I'll make it fit and then I'll just quickly clean it off I have a sticker on this side so I know that's the side I put my spray on for cleaning my stamps give that a really quick clean I love my stamp and scrub and I love the um, stamping mist it's awesome and it, it goes a long way it lasts what about, I'm coming up to three years of being a demonstrator and I think I've bought one refill. So I've bought the small one and one refill bottle in nearly three years. So it goes an awful long way. And it's, you know, it's kind to your stamps. You know you're not going to be doing them any mischief. Move those out of the way and get my... My um, this doofer, uh, which is my, I'm just going to have to just trim these out because I've not stamped them the right way to fit in my pinch. Ooh. Right, let's have a look. That should be alright now, there we go. Okay. 
let's just get that in there there we go next one and then let me just trim that off what I normally do is I normally stamp and make sure that I've got petals north to south but because I'm I'm crafting on the hop I've not used my brain so um, it's easier to line up the punch if you make sure you stamp with one petal at north, south, uh, east and west. <laughs> I had to think then, I can't remember. It does make it easier, a lot easier. But not to worry. Okay, that's that one. Um, is it going to let me... I'm just going to have to trim it. Because I've not stamped it right. Okay, duck. But it's not a problem. It's super easy to line up as this punch. There we go. So that's that done. Okay. So I'm going to just shape them ever so slightly with my burn folder. I'm going on a bit now. The video was meant to be real quick, but not to worry. Um, sometimes you just need to take a little bit of time over things. Okay, Doc. Let me get my stamp mat so that I can give those a bit of a squish with a tool. There we go. And then I'm going to attach them using glue dots. There we go. And they just line up super simple. Like so, one on top of the other. Like that. Grab myself a glitter enamel dot for the centre. Uh, which is sticking all over my hands and annoying me at the moment. <laughs> Just a little one there. They're a little bit smaller than the centre of the flower, but, you know, that doesn't really particularly worry me. So let's do this one. You can make some beautiful flowers with these if you take time to punch lots out and layer them up. They really do make be I've seen bunches of flowers made out of these that look amazing. Um, and also, of course, we do have the new daisy punch coming. So if you don't already have the um, daisy delight and the daisy punch here, they are worth a purchase because in the new catalogue we're getting this which is going to go with it and this is called Daisy Lane and in this set there is a smaller daisy and there's a smaller daisy punch coming so they will, you know, they'll go together Awesome! Love it I love it when, um, when Stamping Up bring out things that coordinate with things that we've already got um, because I just think it gives you just more versatility and you know, you've already got some of the stuff, so it's a bonus, isn't it? Right, let me just stick this with glue dots and layer that on there, like so. Okay, and then I want, I'm going to have quite a dark, one of these dark blues, I think, to set off. That looks cute, doesn't it? Let me just give that a press in the middle just to lift them petals up and give that one a press in the middle to lift them petals up and then I can attach these to my little bags and then we'll do a sentiment. Right, so I'm going to have this one on here. So we've got that one on that one and then I'm going to put this one on this one. Right there, like so. Okay, so we've got our two little bags there. 
So do we want a sentiment? I believe we do. And I did just bring over varied vases. And he brought this one because it's got some lovely small um, sentiments in. Because I didn't want a big massive one. So I like these little ones. But little birthday wishes. You are simply the best. Thanks and hello. Um, and I do like them. Um, so let's see which we're going to have. Not quite decided yet. Um, uh, I think we'll just have hello. Yep. Yeah. We'll just have hello. Okay. Let's stick that on our little block. And we will stamp them in... We'll have Mellow Mambo. I'm using this little bit of scrap here. We'll have Mellow Mambo and we'll do the same for both. So that one there. That one there. Okay. And then I'll use my little trusty classic label punch. Punch those out. Punch that one out. And then all I have to do, move my ink, move all of that, trim these off so they're nice and little and cute. Okay. Alrighty, who? And just grab some mini dimensionals and we can attach these to our little bag and then we have created two bags from one sheet of 12 by 12